Love is Blind popped off on Valentine's Day with six episodes and everyone is freaking out over this woman claiming that she looks like Megan Fox and roasting her online. And yeah, people are mean. <laughs> the preview for the show's next episode was intense also. So let's rehash and rewind my thoughts on Love is Blind episodes one through six. If you love reality TV, YouTube tea, and rewinding internet gossip, please subscribe. So let's talk about Megan Fox herself, and then let's dive into the couples. And yes, they are proving love is blind. <laughs> so let's take a look at her features, and it's the eyes for me. Like, maybe if she had darker hair, she would resemble uh, Megan Fox a little bit more. But rule number one, never compare yourself to one of the top, like, sexiest or most desired women on national TV. Did we learn nothing from season five? I think that she resembles her, and everyone keeps saying Natalie Nunn. I don't really see, I see the Natalie Nunn because of, like, they have longer faces. Um, but I see, like, if you just take the eyes, I see Megan Fox. So don't come for me, guys. I know everyone's roasting her on the internet, but I see a lot of people saying that she does look like agreeing with me also that she resembles Megan Fox. But you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments what you guys think. So let's meet our lovely couples. We have AD and Clay. And I'm sorry, but Clay seems like a sneaky little sketchy boy. I Clay like seems like he seems so cool. But then he gives, like, all screw your best friend in our apartment vibe. So it's a no for me with this couple. I think AD is going to see right through Clay. And I don't know. I just have this feeling this man is not ready to be a husband. Plus, in the preview, I'm pretty sure he said something like that. And then we have Brittany and Kenneth. And they are probably the cutest couple ever. But it kind of scares me because Kenneth was talking to AD and AD was being concerned about their children, which is a completely valid thing. And he mentioned that he is worried what people are going to say back at home. And he reveals that this is his first white girl. And in the preview, she seems to be complaining to him about how everything has changed since they left the DR, which is the vacation place that they went to. So it might not be a fairy tale ending like I was hoping for with these two, but I still, they're still one of my top couples this season. And then we had Amy and Johnny, another adorable couple. But I worry about Amy. She mentions that she normally wouldn't walk up to him at the bar and she admits that she usually goes for ethic men. And so this is her first whitey. And this couple seems like they are very, very connected and so into each other. Like I don't see them having like a a problem of like someone else from the pods coming in and trying to take him or take her but we can't say the same thing about the next couple so laura and jeremy and i don't know why i didn't pay much attention to them in the pods i guess i kept seeing everything online about the megan fox thing i was just paying attention to that situation he is really into her saying how beautiful she is and she says he is great without his glasses and Hawaiian shirts. Like, that's funny, but also a little orange flag. Like, she's, like, already trying to change him. Like, when you first meet the love of your life, I feel like you don't want to change anything about them. If that's their vibe, it's their vibe. I'm, I'm not judging, but that couple gets a little messy later, but we'll wait for the preview breakdown. So... The couple that we've all been waiting for, Megan Fox and Jimmy, Mr. Hank Hill. Which, Hank Hill doesn't really look like that. I think they're saying Hank Hill because of his accent. I don't know. You guys let me know. I, am I overthinking this? So, Chelsea and Jimmy. Ugh, girl. And I get it. Like I said in my intro, she does look similar to Megan Fox, but she shouldn't have told him this. So let's rehash this couple a little. Jimmy was stuck between Chelsea and Jess, and I personally think both women are incredibly beautiful, and as a tall girl myself, I have a little soft spot for Chelsea. So Jess has a daughter, and she withheld this information from Jimmy while they were, like, going on their first couple of dates, and when she ended up telling him, they were already, like, pretty deep in their connection, and 
Jimmy wasn't sure how to feel about this, and then after hearing that Chelsea looks like Megan Fox, enough said. He was team Megan Fox. When he went to break up with Jess, she came feisty, and Jimmy tells her he is in love with someone else, and Jess was like, you ruined my experience. You suck. I'm leaving here alone, and I deserve so much better. And you do, girl. You do. So she spills to him that she knows he told Chelsea last night that he loved her and he made his choice yesterday and Jess makes a comment that blew the internet up she says you are going to need an EpiPen when you see me to open up your airways because I'm so fucking hot I'm just kidding she didn't say the last part but pretty much leaving Jimmy questioning his decision because he even tried to get information on what Jess looked like from his fiance when they were talking at the DR vacation suite thing he was like I have a bone to pick with you and she's like what and he's like you told the girls that I love you I told you not to and then he's like you went running in the room saying he loves me and uh sir that's not what Jess said <laughs> Jess didn't say that but she's like I told one person and he's like well I believe you hey <laughs> And then he's like, Jess was mean to me and she brought up looks. And Chelsea's like, she brought up what? Looks? And he's like, she told me I would be holding my breath when I see her. And Chelsea is like, what the fuck? And she's like, you know you're gonna see her. And he's like, uh, I would say I can't wait, but I can. <laughs> like, no, dude, you are a red flag. Because then they go meet the other couples and he's like, AD is stacked. And Chelsea calls it out and he's and is like, dang, AD, how'd you get that ass? Or like something like that. And AD's like, squats and Jesus. And he goes over to AD giving weird vibes, like twirling her around. And Chelsea gets pissed off and walks away and they fight about it later. But now that we got through all our couples, let's rehash the preview. I guess Jimmy goes off and screws Jess because this clip. And what the hell? Jess... She's not that kind of girl. I know she's not that kind of girl. I just thought that she was better than that. Sorry, but if you knew someone was engaged, why would you even think that's an option? But maybe it was blown up and edited like he cheated on Chelsea. So maybe it's just an editing thing. But it sounds like Jimmy went, fuck Jess. And he's not the only one run into one of his pod dates. Jeremy goes back with someone from the pods too. Yes, and I'm pretty sure her name's Sarah. Don't quote me on it. But you can see Laura yelling at him, like saying, you were with her until 2 a.m. And then Chelsea needs Trevor. And everyone's a fan of Trevor. Like all the girlies on TikTok are obsessed with him and think that he should be with Jess. But he wanted Chelsea and he was 100% ready. Like he wanted her. And it's so sad because like he deserves to be someone's number one. He does. And it all, that just left us on a cliffhanger. And I cannot wait for new episodes to come out tomorrow. Yes, I'm recording this the day before the new episodes come out because I'm a working mommy. Well, I'm, I don't get paid for this, but <laughs> I wish I could. But you guys are going to have to let me know what you guys think about this season. So the schedule for Love is Blind is Wednesday, February 21st, episodes 7 through 9 are coming out. February 28th, episodes 10 and 11. And then March 6th is going to be episode 12. So that's going to be our wedding. And this season is crazy. I'm watching so many shows right now. I like just cannot catch up with everything. I'm so happy that I have reality TV. This is going to get dark, you guys. This is going to get dark. But I get really depressed in the wintertime. And I'm usually cold and sad. And I'm just so thankful for this channel and making content. I just cannot wait for more episodes and to rehash them with you guys. Here's all my shows that I'm watching if you guys are interested in finding other shows to watch. I'm watching 90 Day Single Life, 90 Day Fiance, Vanderpump Rules, Love in Translation, and Love is Blind. So if you guys want to watch any of those with me, let me know in the comments. You guys can talk to me in the comments. I'm there. And let me know what you guys are watching. And I'm so grateful for everyone that hit that subscribe button. And I'm so excited to rehash and rewind more YouTube tea, reality TV, and internet gossip with you. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye